Alrighty, on this question, we have some bars signifying the years 1990, 1988 and 91. In this question, they are only wanna, they're only concerned with those sectors that increase from 88 to 91. And the only two are the financial and the services. And those increased by 26%, or those are 26%, and 22% for 1991. So if you read the question, that's all we care about. How much did those two account for in 1991? And again, they're the only ones that went up from 98 or from 1988 to 1991. Now, together, they're going to what? Make 48% of the total. They give you the total, it's 520 million. In the good old days of multiple choice answers, you could have easily ballparked this, but unfortunately, we also have here a numeric entry question. So we're going to have to come up with something exact, and it says to the nearest $10 million. So you can whip out the calculator and multiply these two numbers together and then round to the nearest 10 million. The answer you're going to get is 249,600,000, which to the nearest 10 million becomes 250 million. Notice we're rounding the six up to a zero here. So this rounds up this nine to also do a zero. That gives us 250 million. And there's our answer. Now you could have done this longhand as well and arrived at the same answer. You could use the calculator. It's up to you, but a good little trick. 50 squared, 50 times 50 is 2,500. That shouldn't be too bad. Five times five is 25 at the two zeros. Now, what's the difference between 52 times 48 and 50 times 50? What I just did here above. Well, notice that the difference between 50 and 52 is 52 is two more and 48 is two less. So there's a little rule, whatever this number is here, 50 squared, which of course is 2,500. We'll take that over here. 2,500 minus, well, what's the difference here? Well, in both cases, it's two and two. What's two squared? Four, 2,496. And then, of course, add the zeros, answer the question, but just a good little mental math trick. Not that it really matters now that you can use the calculator anyway.